Workout. It's Play Pants, episode number 203. Well, I, I thought I'd celebrate the 80s and go to Culture Club, a really hip and happening place where they celebrate the 80s. That was a great decade, and I think we can really celebrate it for, I think, for maybe 25, 30 years to come. We'll still be celebrating the 1980s. Hey, what do you think about the uh, the 80s? Oh, you look over here. Say, what do you think about the 80s? I love the 80s. This is the best of the 80s. I love it. I love it. And uh, we got a lot of fun coming up ahead here on Play Pants. Um, we got, what do we got going? We got a little thing from our man Stan. He was, he was alive in the 80s. I'm sort of like 80s. And we got a little Mr. Obnoxious coming up your way. Uh, a little sketch comedy. It's a lot of fun. It's called Play Pants. That's our show. So keep on, turn on, turn on some music at your home. Have a few drinks and have some fun with me. I'm Play Pants. Okay, so I don't mean to be disappointing you. I mean, if you're all psyched about uh, hanging out at the uh, '80s club, um, but I, I I decided that uh, all right, well, all right. They started playing Adam Ant, and then I, I immediately was reminded of my uh, junior prom, which uh, ended up with a little uh, incident. <clears throat> this girl's uh, uh, boyfriend uh, strangled me. Um, it's a long story, but anyway, so I decided to relax at a you know a little cozy little place, a little off the beaten path uh, environment, and hang out. But uh, that doesn't mean you guys got to go because you know it's still gonna be a lot of fun. We still got you know a lot of fun stuff going on on the show. Uh, for those of you tuning in late, uh, this is Play Pants, uh, and I'm your host. Uh, you know, as it were. Anyway, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, we're going to go to check out some 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 funny stuff that's going on out there on this show. It's it's a give me a laugh riot. Sorry, I was thinking about Adam Ann again. I apologize. Uh, we're going to go to um, oh yeah, we're going to go we'll go visit our friend Stan, uh, our man Stan, and he's going to go and 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 talk to some people uh, at Central Park. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs>
Today we're doing a Central Park quiz. We're going around and asking the uh, denizens and occupants of the park what they know about Central Park. We're doing a Central Park quiz. Would you mind answering a couple of questions, please? Uh, okay. That's all legal. Can you define the word park for me? Park. Define it? Define the word park. Define the word park. P-A-R-K? P-A-R-K. Okay. Uh, a park. Uh, I, I would define a park as a uh, piece of property. Uh, Can you give us a quicker definition? A park? Uh, a place to hang out. Actually, it's a setting on an automatic transmission. Okay. It's a setting on an automatic transmission. <laughs> I'm not aware of that. Okay, neither am I. It's a homonym joke. Do you know what the word park means? Uh, to stop. No, the answer is a uh, place where people gather uh, to have recreation. Oh. Do you know what the largest park in the world is? No. The answer is Canada. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what the largest park in the world is? No. Nope. Actually, it's Canada. Okay. Largest park in the world. All right. Do you know what drug is most frequently exchanged in Washington Square Park? Crack. Reefer. Loudenum. Loudenum. The answer we have is Nuprin. <laughs> but um, um. Right, we had a lot of Nuprin before we came here. Okay. Oh. Small, tiny, yellow, powerful. Isn't it weird, Nuprin? What, what, can, what happens to you on Nuprin? I don't know. Can you spell the word picnicking? P I. N I C Wrong, try again. P I C N I C I N G. Wrong, try again. I can't. I think you spell picnicking. P I C I N P I C N I C I N G. Wrong. Try again. I don't know. Um P I C I N I C Wrong. Okay, what is it? Try again. P I C I N Wrong. What was the word? The, the word was pickles. Pickles. You're changing it. The word. Say picnic thing. You said picking king. king. <laughs> pickles is P I C K L E S. What do we have for the man? Yeah, we don't have anything for you except more comedy. Let's see. Do you know who designed Central Park? Nope. Would you like to know? Let's see if we can find out for you. Hmm. The answer is hazy. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Do you know who designed Central Park? Uh, L'enfant? I'm not sure. L'enfant, that means baby in French. L'enfant, that means the baby in French. The baby, yes. I don't, I don't think the baby uh, designed the park. Do you know who designed Central Park? No. The answer is Mike Brady. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, good for Mike. Do you know uh, what the largest park in the world is? Central Park? No, the answer is Canada. No way. Yes, it is actually Canada. Is that the whole country? The whole country is the largest park in the world. Hi, we're doing a Central Park quiz. Would you care to answer a couple questions? Can you define the word park? What? Can you define the word park? I can't right now, sir. Okay. Hi, we're doing a Central Park quiz. Would you care to answer a couple questions, please? <laughs> How long were you in the FBI? <laughs> Do you know what the biggest park in the world is? <laughs> Wrong. Can you use the word softball and epithelium in a sentence? Nope. Okay. Can you spell the word picnicking? Picnicking. That's a tough one. I couldn't do that. Well, let's go back to the other one. Can you use the word softball and epithelium in a sentence? No, I can't do you it. You still can. Okay, you think about that one. All right. Did you know that it was legal to go topless in Central Park? No. No. Okay. Do you know it was legal to go topless in the park? Yes, I did. Have you ever gone topless in the park? No, I haven't. Neither have I. Do you know it was legal to go topless in the park? I don't know. You want to try? Oh, do you know that it's uh, legal for women to be topless in the park? Absolutely. I do it all the time. Did you know that it's legal to go topless? 
Let's go to the next question. What is this for? Uh, this is for um, Warner Brothers. We're doing a six-hour uh, show, and then it's going to be erased. Great. Thanks yeah. for wasting my time. No, thank you for wasting hours. Bye-bye. Okay, we're back. And um, we're having a good time. That was uh, our man Stan. He, uh, you know, he's he's funny. He's always good for uh, he's always good for a laugh or two, and uh, we can all use a, a a laugh or two in our life, can't we? So um, I'm just you know hanging, chilling, having a little drink. All right, so we're let's, we're gonna go down to our friend Woodsy, um, and he's gonna teach us about the internet. He's an expert. That, that's his. That's his. That's what he knows. He knows all about the, the web. So we're, we're going to go to a thing called the Woodsy Web Minute. And uh, Woodsy has some, some fun for us. So we're going to take a, take a look at it. Hi, I'm Woodsy. Welcome to my Web Minute. Woodsy's Web Minute. Anyway, I've been, uh, I've been up almost all night surfing on the internet for one of my favorite things and that's looking at people's personal home pages on the internet now I just want to show you guys a couple of the fun pages that I found while I was surfing all night long now this one page is called everyone loves lacrosse it says Maggie Kathleen and Lauren all love lacrosse and so does this butterfly this giraffe also loves lacrosse. And then they put some links to all sorts of lacrosse sites on the web so you can develop your own love of lacrosse. That's a cute little page, cute little animals and things. It's cute, just cute, it's just fun. And now another page I found was a page that a family made for their family reunion. It's the Adkins Family Reunion. Here they have put up some fun pictures from the past reunions. We can see a picture of the cake. See? Click. Hmm. I wish I had been there to have some of that cake. And there's a picture of little Ed Atkins. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, he's a little chubby boy. Well, anyway, if you make a website about something, you can make it seem really important, even if it's just something crappy, like your dumb family reunion. Anyway, you should go surf for some fun home pages, people's personal home pages out there on the web. Until next time, I'm Woodsy, and keep surfing. Now let's see here. What else can I look at? Sherry Adkins. Oh. So we're gonna we're gonna continue with the laughter, the uh, laugh out loud riot, belly laughing, knee slapping comedy uh, adventure, known as play pants, and uh, we're gonna go to a segment called uh, sketch comedy, which is you know it's just like a, it's basically you know you can figure it out it's a little sketch, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch it and uh, hopefully hopefully it's gonna be funny hopefully you'll like it, I'm gonna like it because you know. I'm a very easygoing type of guy. Let's go watch it. Uh. Watch, watch the comedy. Don't watch me. It's over there. Hey, hey, we got any more champagne, huh? 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 Hey, why don't we get together a collection? I'll go out and get some more booze, huh? Shh, not now. Who is this guy? I think it's Jane's brother-in-law. He had nowhere to go, so she said he could stay with us. Huh? Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Are you having trouble with that? Do you have scissors? No, no, no. Yeah, there's not even some. Yeah. Maybe on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, here you go, sweetie. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, everyone be quiet for one minute. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, 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 ye
and uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it right now. I'm from the future, and it's amazing how you guys handle yourselves walking. No use for money in the future. No use for money. No, we're all live live in harmony and trust and love. Oh yeah. All provided for in the future. Well, I hope you're right. I come from the future. All right, very good, boy. The year 2010. All right, good luck. Get too early today. I hope I can make it back there. In the future, you know, you won't have to walk. You can fly and eat food pills. This is the past. The future is ahead of us, though. Wouldn't you like to live in a world where peace and harmony rules? I would. In the future, we hover, we fly. Gravitational pull's a little stronger here. <laughs> Keep on laughing, pretend like it was really funny. It was. Just keep on laughing. <laughs> 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 so Zia, what did you think of uh, Mr. Obnoxious? It sucked. Thank you. Did, did you really think it sucked? Yes, I did, Mark. No, I mean, be honest, though. Mark, I'm being honest, and it sucked. No, I mean, stop acting, though. Now, what did you think of it, though? <laughs> do you want me to say it sucked, or do you want me to tell you how I really felt? Tell me how you really, really felt. It sucked. Man, I can't believe it. I thought it was funny. Thanks a lot for coming by. I'll see you guys uh, next episode. Don't forget to log in to www.playpants.com. That's right. Good night. Good night. Hello, I'm Bill Brain. I'm one of the play actors here on Play Pants, the boisterously entertaining program you're watching right now. You might remember me in one of several hilarious roles as uh, Bob, the wacky homicidal rainforest advocate, or Rob, the wacky medical doctor, Todd, the wacky auctioneer, or Bubba, the wacky shrimp boat captain. The list goes on. But I'm here tonight for a serious purpose. On a recent episode of Play Pants, an incidental swear word accidentally made it on the air. It was the word f now, we at Play Pants do not necessarily condone the use of such words. However, we don't shy away from them either. We do our best to make sure they don't make it on the air. Not because we think the words are bad, but because we could get fined, kicked off the air, or receive a huge influx of belligerent letters from uptight Christians. So in compliance with the FCC, we at Play Pants would like to make it clear that in the future we will do everything in our power to make sure words like and Jane never make it on the air. And to avoid confusion, I would like at this time to list several ambiguous words, which may sound like dirty words, but are in fact as clean and wholesome as a newborn baby. <clears throat> Again, these are not swear words. Crab bagger, winkle, teeter eater, circumvolution, vaginate, reamer, rebutter, Reaganomics, Poon Forest, Jazzercise, Jehovah's Witness, Lumpfish, Excrescent, Shiitake, Representative Dan Burton, Lubrication, Diddle Maker, Wonkavator, Penal Code, and I guess you can't say If you know of any words you would like to have read on the air, log on to the official Play Pants website and let us know what words you'd like to hear uttered on national... Um, public access television. The address is www.playpants.com. Thank you and good night.
as all the guests began to become naked, and they tickled my bottom with the rat.